in the strategy. So the division also assisted the three northern uh, townships with the development of the uh, vibrant North Durham. And then in, um, in 2013, the northern um, councils adopted the plan, which includes individual action plans for each community as well. And so, of course, it includes things such as um, helping to attract business, um, inspire and, and support entrepreneurship, um, create a vision for future or create a um, vibrant future for young um, adults, and of course, help building a uh, stronger and uh, rural and small town um, identity. So last year, we, um, with it was initiated actually by the Town of Skugog's Economic Development Advisory Committee. However, it was actually coordinated out of our office. We um, embarked on the Skugog Business Retention um, and Expansion Project where they visited 114 companies. And of course, this is an opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one and to have a discussion with local owners and understanding the challenge and the opportunities um, for them as a business uh, owner in the community. And from there, you, you, you go back and you create strategies to address um, some of these things. Now, of course, as we all know, a lot of people are, you know, I don't like paying taxes, but we have to. So those kind of things, there's really nothing we can do about that, but there are some other things that we can do, such as reducing red tape and whatnot through the development process. It's those kind of things that we can help um, make simpler for our businesses. I'm just going to turn around and make sure I'm on the right slide. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. So the economic development um, and attraction plan identified the need for rebranding the economic development uh, brand, of course, and that was to give Durham Region the edge uh, in promoting the region to, uh, inc to um, increasingly I into competitive markets. So uh, this resulted in, of course, our rebranding and um, updating all of our marketing collateral to promote the region and attract uh, investment. And our marketing collateral now has concrete information in it that prior to this point, it was more like sort of, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but more like lure brochure, rather than having concrete information that we could hand out, people could take back and actually use the data for their assessment of whether Durham Region would be a good place to be. So this is all uh, in our stuff now. So in 2014, it, this new branding and market um, material was launched in a formal ceremony that was held in the foyer at the region. So I'm gonna go rather quickly, I don't wanna um, bog down the time on this, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like, so these are just some of them. We have quite a bit more than what I'm going to show you here, but of course our um, community profile and our fast facts is a condensed version of the profile, so sometimes the investors only want a snapshot. And then of course what we did different this time is we have sector brochures. So of course our four key sectors and each brochure has dedicated information towards those sectors. So. Um, Post-secondary information only relates to that sector. Of course, our pop-up banners, which you can see to my uh, left here. And our website, this was a very exciting project for us. Um, we've refreshed our website because uh, the last website never had a did not have a dedicated um, focus for investors. So investors would have to go to multiple tabs to, to get the information. So what we did was we created an actual tab and, and many of the uh, local municipalities also have done this in their websites. And this is key. So we heard this loud and clear through the Economic Development Council of Ontario who um, did a survey using site selectors on what, what's important to them. And the importance to them is when they come to someone's website, they want the information in one spot. They don't want to be clicking, clicking. And so we've done this and this is very exciting for us. Of course, the Business ac um, Accelerator Center Durham is key for the region uh, of Durham. And we all know the development of the small business sector is a major factor into our economy. So, and at present, Durham is home to over 10,000 businesses that employ less than um, um, 20 employees. So, for those of you who are not aware, and most of you probably are, but the, the BACD is an arm's length or organization. Um, it's actually a partnership between the province of Ontario and the region of Durham. And so through our region council, of course, um, our ongoing contribution to the center, we're one of the two core funders. Um, we've invested significantly, over um, 1.8 million in the last 12 years towards the growth and development of small business. And, the, and the, um, that organization was also restructured two years ago, and it's, it's doing um, fabulous. 
um, Spark Center, which Dennis is sitting in the room. Um, so council um, um, supports us as the region as being one, one of the core funders for the Spark Center. And of course, they're working very hard at um, um, enabling tech startups um, to grow in the region. And it also enables us to um, collaborate with the Spark on initiatives that spur job creation. And so the region invests annually into this organization of $100,000 a year. Another initiative that we uh, um, oversaw was called the Interactive Manufacturing Innovation Network. So in June 2012, the region entered into an agreement with the Excellence in Manufacturing Consortium uh, for the delivery of an uh, online portal um, for the manufacturing sector. And so it connects manufacturing stakeholder groups in an effort to create a more responsive and global um, competitive manufacturing community. And this is a, a true collaborative partnership between government, industry, and post-secondary uh, institutions as we, we are all on what we call the advisory committee to help move this forward. So tourism is also a very strong economic driver in the region. So um, in 2013, Region Council approved a sport um, tourism pilot program, and we branded it Sport Durham. And so staff, they uh, received uh, from our municipal partners the ability to promote and coordinate sport tourism on a region-wide basis. And so um, sport, the, the Sport Durham has also um, increased the economic uh, activity directly and indirectly through sport since its inception. So since in the past um, eight, in the first eight months, over $12 million in economic spending has occurred. Um, so this clearly demonstrates that um, the benefits of having a regional wide, a region wide approach to this and that sport, uh, sport tourism is um, a very important um, activity in Durham region and, uh, and as a matter of fact, it's, it's very important across the country. Um, Savor the season. I'm not sure if any of you uh, enjoyed that uh, program, um, but that was um, started in 2011. And in, in the inaugural program, it featured 29 restaurants and 51 producers. And it just grew from there. And each year, um, the number of restaurants grew. And so now, in 2014, you're not going to see the program out there because we're working with central counties in developing a region uh, tourism region culinary tourism strategy. So we put the savor the season on hold until we decide what the strategy looks like and, and that should be coming out for the new council early in the new year. And the Art of uh, Trans uh, Transition Creative Awards, again, uh, most of you probably are aware of this. And so these are the annual awards that recognize individual organizations and individuals for their contribution in making Durham Region a creative thriving community and in 2013, we had six winners, and it's actually coming up in November. And one more slide on tourism, and that's Durham Culture Days, and that, that's a Canada-wide program, but Durham Region um, um, tourism staff organize about 50 programs in that. So hopefully I'm on time for Bob. So in conclusion, there was a considerable amount of activity in economic development and tourism. Um, and it inc which included the new dedicated focus of the investment attraction team. And we achieved significant milestones in this area from promoting to key investment stakeholders, um, strategic planning and rebranding, uh, developing significant relationships in foreign markets, in particular with China and the U.S. So uh, what's coming up in the future? Um, in the official plan, we're required to update the economic development strategy every five years. So that's going to go underway in 2015. And if you would like to be a contributor to the strategy through the public process, please uh, leave me your business card. And once we um, get underway with this, we'll make sure that you're contacted. Uh, we're still going to continue on our missions. And um, from a tourism perspective, I need to give a plug for Terry K uh, Carrie King here. There's, um, she's organizing the Durham Festival in August of 2015. And that will be a legacy festival um, spun, uh, spin off, spin off, spun off from the um, Pan Parapan Games. And um, so you'll be, uh, just watch for the promotion that's coming up early in the new year. Thank you.